Greetings, no coders. In this video, we're going to be going through how to use the billing starter kit template. Now, this is a template that we've been working on to make it easier to start billing with for your SaaS. So get your SaaS billing in place. And I'm just going to go through, create a new app with the template and kind of explain what it can do and how to use it for yourself. So to start with, we're just going to click this nice preview button so we can, oh, come on, get out of here. All right, click this nice preview button. So we're going to be presented with the three billing flows. The three billing flows that we support are the freemium, the free trial, and pay up front. So freemium billing flow is going to be where the user signs up and then they pay within the app at a later time. Free trial is going to be where they, you know, subscribe and sign up at the same time, get a free trial, and at some point that trial might end. If they haven't put a credit card in, they'll get canceled and get kicked out of the app. And last but not least, pay up front, this most standard one where they sign up, pay right at the beginning, and then they'll have an active subscription. So let's just hop into some of these. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the freemium flow. It's going to have me sign up. I'm just going to put in some dummy data in here. Click sign up. It's going to take us to our in-app dashboard. So th this template really just consists of a few uh, sign up forms and an, an in-app dashboard that we're looking here. There's a section here that says premium, which you need to have an active premium subscription in order to access. Right now you can see our current plan is free. Uh, what we're going to do is click this upgrade button, which is going to pro prompt us to do this is what's popping up here is uh, the bill flow plan picker. So this template utilizes the bill flow plugin fairly extensively as a full integration. So what we're going to do is in this bill flow plan picker, we're going to pick the premium tier. It's going to have us fill out some credit card details. We're going to do that and we're going to click confirm. It's going to create the subscription store all the subscription details in the bubble database and redirect the user to the dashboard page. So you can see here now we, the app knows we're on the premium tier. We have access to the premium section. We now have access to this billing button at the top, which I'm going to click on. It's going to pull open the bill flow subscription portal billing page. So this, this billing page section here lets us do things like cancel the subscription, view how much we're paying, download invoices. And what I'm going to do just to show you is change plan. We're going to downgrade to the basic plan, which is $50 a month. I'm going to click confirm. Bubble is going to be aware of this change through a workflow. And now when I click dashboard, you'll see current plan basic and premium lessons are once again blocked off from me. That's the basics of the freemium flow. Now we're just going to jump in. We're going to go into the pay up front flow. So I'm going to click pay up front. Uh, we're going to just pick premium. So see with this flow, it's almost identical except, well, it's not, it's, it's, this is a flow where we actually register right at the gates and fill out some credit card information. So I'm going to put in a password, um, do this, do this, do this, click confirm here. This is going to register the user and create a subscription. And you can see here, we have now a premium, current plan is premium, and we can access the premium section. We're gonna click billing tab at the top. That's gonna bring up the bill flow portal. And with the bill flow portal, we can uh, do the same exact things. We can change our plan, all that good stuff. So the last last but not least, we're gonna do the free trial flow. This is good. The, both free trial and paid up front use a bill flow pricing page. So this, this pricing table that you see here is uh, generated by Billflow and it's using the, the Billflow bubble plugin. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pick the premium plan once again and you see here, uh, it doesn't actually ask us for our credit card. It just asks us for email and password. It could be configured to ask for a credit card upfront but in this case we have it configured not to do so. So this is gonna create a 14 day free trial and you can see we have access to that but if we click billing, it'll show that we are in a trial mode. So see status is trialing, trial ends February 4th. I can add a credit card and I can upgrade, downgrade, all that good stuff. So 
in a nutshell, that's pretty much what you get with this with this uh, template. Let's kind of dive into it a little bit and show how to actually use it once you once you've got it set up. the The key places are these different pages. We have uh, we're on the the just the index where it sends you to different pages. We have the free trial sign up page. This is just pointing to a. This is using one of the five bill flow plugin elements. So we have the checkout, customer portal, invoice, plan picker, pricing. This is a pricing page. It's pointing to a bill flow uh, billing page, which I can actually pull up one of the billing pages here. Really, this is you just uh, create a pricing page. You would just pick the. Uh, this let's just pick like paid up front for example. And you can see here the. Uh, what the pricing page would look like. You can actually configure it a little bit. Like you can add different intervals. You can even add some features if you want like feature lists, all that kind of good stuff. You can configure checkout. Uh, but what we care about is at the end, you just want to embed. So you click save, you would click bubble, grab this code, paste it in that section I just showed you here. And you're kind of good to go on the pricing page point of view. The last thing you need to do is hook it up to a workflow. So pricing page has a workflow that gets triggered when a new user subscribes. Uh, and you really just want to sign the user up, grab all these details out of the billing page. And in this case, we have subscription tier, status, subscription ID, customer ID, email and password. And then uh, that, that's pretty much how the pricing page works. The second embeddable element that I'm going to show you is the subscription portal element. So if we go to the subscription portal page, you can see here we have also another, this corresponds to another uh, billing page. And the key thing for getting this working is this authentication HMAC section. Um, this is important when you actually go live, you need to actually have it point um, do, set up like this. This is in our documentation. So you don't need to, you just put in the current user's email and then add it in your bill flow secret key, which you get from, uh, from your, your bill flow account. And that will make sure that the customers are authenticated properly. Um, but really, the, the key thing here is the workflows. We have we expose a bunch of different workflows that you can uh, trigger. So we have like bill flow, plan picker user cancels, resubscribes, changes tier, subscribes to new subscription. And the point of all these workflows is to keep your bubble database in sync with which with what's going on in the element. So for example, this we I, I modified the user table to have a couple extra fields like subscription tier, status, subscription ID, customer ID. These things you can sync every time one of these actions happens in the element, you can say, oh, they changed their tier, let's change the subscription tier. And that is the secret to doing things like feature gating. For example, on the dashboard page here, we have a hidden element, group L here, that has a condition saying, oh, the subscription tier is premium and then make it visible. Make sure that your subscription status is not canceled and their subscription tier is premium. Show the premium section. Uh, yeah, the only the last part that I wanted to kind of go into was we do expose a backend workflow that you could, this gets a little more advanced and I wanna make a separate video on it, but we have here a backend workflow that can be used as a Stripe webhook endpoint so whenever an event happens outside of your bubble, for example, a trial expiring or a credit card payment failing due to the card expiring, um, you can actually have Stripe reach out to this bubble app and update the user table. For example, in this case, whenever a subscription gets updated, we want the subscription status to get updated as well. For example, if a subscription goes from active to cancel due to payments failing, uh, this backend workflow can get triggered. And the way you do that in a nutshell is use this um, URL. It would be this slash workflow slash uh, whatever the backend workflow's name is. I'm going to do a separate video on this, so keep an eye out for that. But th th this is um, this is included in the template. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, the billing Kickstarter, the billing starter kit template. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description that to this specific template and uh if you guys have any questions just feel free to comment on the video or hit me up on twitter uh have a great day